What's going on guys and welcome back to the Triple B Gaming News channel. If you want to hear the other side of the news, subscribe and turn on notifications. In today's video we're going to be talking about YouTuber and streamer Expel and how he spoke in a toxic manner towards his own community. So, let's crack on with the news. Expel has always been very open about the fact that he does everything he does with the content creation for the money, which is extremely understandable. It's a great business to be in. I understand. Many other people will understand that too. However, he gets his community involved in a lot of custom games to try and create epic TikTok videos, okay? Things that look abnormal so that he can get the clicks, likes, and views which generate money, which again is understandable. He has had a lot of success over the years, from being a Twitch partner, a YouTube partner, to getting a contract over to Facebook Gaming and many other things. This guy has been a successful content creator to date. However, the way in which he speaks to his community just doesn't seem to sit right with me and many others. I've had many people contact me about this moment where he was trying to get his community involved in a custom game so that he could create some form of TikTok video. And somebody wasn't playing ball. Somebody wasn't doing things by the book. He was giving out commands. You need to do this. You need to do that so that the video looks like this. I'd expect that's what it would sound like. Something along those lines. However, somebody wasn't doing what he'd asked. And in response to that, he reacted in such a toxic and, let me say, childish manner. He blocked the person on the game. He blocked them from his chat and spoke to them in such a toxic way. It is shocking that he has a fan base. Let's run the clip through for you now. Christ, fucking walk away! Fuck! Just walk away! Oh my god, I'm gonna have a fucking conniption! Holy shit! Holy shit! Guys, first of all, you're done. And you're out of the chat. You're fucking out of here. I don't give a shit. You can't even spell fucking promise, dude. Get out of here. You've been following me for two hours. I don't even fuck your parents think that they did a good job with you. You are the worst kind of human. Just walk out. I just want to say, I want to say to everybody that is working their butt off to just step away. I fucking love you. I fucking, mm, I love you. To everybody else, I hope you can never have a child. serve a better fucking parent than you you piece so just because somebody in his game wasn't playing ball who wasn't doing things by the book or maybe they just didn't understand the instructions immediately he blocked them which is fine he blocked them from his chat which is also fine but then he went on a little bit of a rant claiming that he wishes they can never have children what kind of toxicity is this what kind of behavior is that for somebody who's streaming on a platform to 13 year olds and above every platform you are allowed to stream on you can be the age of 13 and above to have an account which means that his followers could quite well be of a younger age they might not be but they might well be as well and he's speaking in such a manner that makes it seem acceptable is that an acceptable thing to say to anybody no he certainly shouldn't be speaking in such a toxic way on stream but he did and this was all because somebody didn't do what he'd asked in the game so that he could create a TikTok video or a Facebook Reels video or a YouTube Shorts video because that's the kind of content he wants to create with his stream community. But this is the way he speaks to them. What's he going to do next week when nobody turns up due to the toxic behavior from himself? Well, people will probably still turn up. Some people probably find that kind of behavior funny. I certainly don't. But let's take a look at what kind of content he's actually trying to create. Don't do anything! Don't do anything! Don't do it! Don't even fucking breathe! Walk away! Shoot, 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 jump, 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 jump,
I gotta grab, I gotta grab this chopper and get back inside because I gotta go. Wait, what the heck is that? What the? Hello? What? <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So I'm guessing the person he decided to block prior to this didn't stay in the helicopter until the end and fall to his death. That's the content Expel is trying to make. So when you see these types of videos from Expel on his shorts or his reels, just remember how he spoke to his community who participated to get him that content while you are watching it. You are watching somebody who has literally spoken to their community like shit so that they can get content to make money it's that simple how does the saying go treat those how you expect to be treated yeah well this seems to be something that a lot of people say expel is like they believe he's a toxic person in fact he recently parted ways with somebody who he deemed to be a friend and Rara -Ra deemed to be his friend and they split ways and there was a little bit of a back and forth recently between the two of them and Rara -Ra spoke out about the way in which Expel expected Rara -Ra to basically be there at his back and call but when it came to returning the favour and Rara -Ra needed content, Expel didn't return the favour so could this be the reason why they broke away and the reason why Rara -Ra decided to step onto his own path in his own direction? Because Rara -Ra seems to have had a hell of a lot more success since parting ways with Expel that could be coincidental due to the fact of his change in what path he took because he has gone down the self-proclaimed hacker hunter route but he's also going down a route of speaking to anybody on both sides of the fence. However, Expel speaking to his community in this manner doesn't seem to be an acceptable way to actually build a community. I mean, if that's how it works for Expel, fair enough. But let me tell you something, I would never speak to my community in that manner and I'm sure many other streamers watching this who wish to have the success Expel has got would be like in shock at the way he spoke to his community. And I'm wondering how that person feels who has decided to become a part of Expel's community only to be left out blocked on multiple things and spoken to in that manner by Expel. How does he feel about this? Is he just going to be forgotten about in this situation? No. It's very, very rude of Expel to speak to somebody, especially mentioning that he hopes they can't have kids. I mean, what the hell is that? Guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is Expel. <laughs> and if we find out anything else about Expel trying to make shorts, reels, or TikTok videos, well, we'll keep you posted about that here on the Triple B Gaming News channel. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on Triple B over and out. Thank you very much for making it this far through the video and if you did enjoy the video guys make sure you hit that thumbs up if you fancy sharing the video out as well it helps the channel massively and if you are new don't forget to hit that subscribe button and whack that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily news uploads you don't want to miss out we have fun here we give you the news on a daily basis but also for anybody who can't watch the videos on the move and you feel like you want to keep up to date with the news in other ways, we do have a website, www.bbbgamingnews.com. It's actually linked in the description of every single one of our videos. We put out multiple news articles about gaming-related things across all boards, all different games, all different consoles, all different gaming news. Go and check it out, and thank you very much for watching once again.